In this video, we are going to do a tour of the exposure sheet for Voland. The purpose of the exposure sheet is to identify critical levels where dealers need to strongly buy or sell the underlying to hedge their deltas. While most dealer positioning tools use the assumption that all puts are bought and all calls are sold, Voland categorizes every single option trade as dealer bought or sold and calculates all of the Greeks on each trade. It then accumulates them to give you the Greek values you see in the exposure sheet. The exposure sheet has two parts, the exposure chart on the left and the dealer flow chart on the right. Above them are four selection boxes. The equity box allows you to choose one of the 200 equities and ETFs we display this data for. These tickers were chosen because they are the top 200 tickers in average daily option notional volume in the market. You can manually enter a ticker and select it from the drop menu, or you may scroll down the drop menu to find the ticker you are interested in. The second box is the Greek box. It allows you to select which Greek you would like to view. The default is the delta adjusted gamma, which adjusts gamma based on whether dealers would need to buy or sell the underlying to hedge their gamma position. None of the other Greeks need this as, as it is inherent in their calculations what moves need to be made. All relevant first and second order Greeks are available for each of the 200 equities. The next box is the expiration box. Voland allows you to down select the expirations to ones that you, seem, that you deem relevant to your analysis. For instance, if you wanna see hedging position for earnings, you can select the expiration immediately following the earnings date and see the results. Here I selected three expiration dates to show the results of hedging in preparation of the CPI reading coming up on Thursday. Finally, the type box The type box allows you to look strictly at puts, calls, or both. This can help identify positioning of customers and dealers in every Greek. And for Delta, it will help you discover positioning overall. Since this is dealer Greek exposure, the inverse would be the customer Greek exposure. So if you see on puts, strong positive delta, that means customers are buying puts, whereas negative delta would be customers selling puts. On the exposure chart here on the left, the X axis represents the option strikes available, while the Y axis represents notional dollars. Each bar represents how much notional dealers are holding for that Greek at that strike. These calculations are done at the beginning of each day and the Greeks are recalculated on a daily basis to reflect the close of the prior day. On the exposure sheet, you can use the wheel of your mouse to zoom in to see the strikes more clearly. If you want to identify the exact strike a bar is at, you can hover your mouse over the bar or press on the bar with your touch screen. The label will give you the strike and the notional hedging on that bar. Keep in mind, on both of these charts, the y-axis is dynamic, which means just the size of this bar does not indicate a strong support or resistance. As you can see, the whole y-axis adjusts to the levels more significant 
for that analysis. As you zoom in, you can see that the y-axis changes in order to accommodate the longest bar. The dealer flow chart here on the right will be different for each Greek. For the first order Greeks, such as Delta, Vega, and Theta, the dealer flow chart will just represent an absolute value of the dealer's position in that Greek across all strikes. This is because these are calculated daily. So I assume at the end of each day, Delta, most of Vega and Theta are already hedged, either within the option space or outside of it, either equities or futures for Delta, VX futures or variant swaps for Vega and Theta. For the second order Greeks, the closing strike the day before is represented as zero. Since it is assumed, dealers are fully hedged by the end of the day. As the market moves, the cumulative hedging requirements for that Greek are shown. Like the exposure chart, you can zoom in with the wheel of your mouse and hover over each data point for the total cumulative notional label. Below the charts, you will find my most up-to-date analysis of the overall market. You can see it is timestamped. As you can see up here, also the data is timestamped as well. Most of the time, it is on SPX and SPY, the two highest volume option vehicles as measured by notional value. Beneath that is the part of my help guide that is most relevant for the Greek you are viewing. Since there's only one chart here, I would also do a quick tour of the relative history part of Oland. This chart is useful to see how the Greeks compare to the most recent six months of historical cumulative Greeks. The y-axis is the percentile of the total value. Right now, you can see theta is very high in SPX. You can switch that to Apple and you will see a different profile. Right now, theta is very high compared to the prior six months, which means time decay is higher than it has been. Gamma is very low. This is used as a guide for the recent history and will help you determine how option dealers are positioned differently than they normally are. That concludes the tour of Voland. Stay tuned for more application webinars.